$1,000 for $65. They sold for $809.95 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and it says share your best April bolo and share your best May bolo is up right now. So you guys head over and share one of your bolos, and I will feature it in a video like this. So I am going to share with you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I'll also let you know what platform it sold on. Some of these are just incredible, but all of them are educational and are going to help you learn to be a better reseller. So let's get started with the first one. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I guess we're moving on to the next thing anyhow. So it says, she said her boyfriend purchased this 2006 World Book set in 2008 for college and held on to it since. He moved in the first week of April and asked me to list them. Paid full price on eBay. Okay, so this was her boyfriend's and he had it since college and asked her to sell it. Sold it for 206 and she is Princess Sarah M. And these are encyclopedias. $206, so free to her because it was her boyfriend's. Definitely, definitely be on the lookout. A lot of times you can pick up books pretty cheap. Um, heavy, probably a little bit. You got to find a big box and protect them. You still have to protect books, right? All right, this next one is adorable. Vintage. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I should know how to say this. Tishin? T Tension? Tishin? I don't know. Theodore Bear Thermal Coffee Carafe. There it is. Isn't that adorable? This one says, I hesit hesitantly picked this up at a yard sale for $3. It sold within 15 minutes? What? For $32. My store name is Aisle 55. So she almost didn't buy it. Now she's probably wondering if she should have auctioned it. 15 minutes. This is one of those things where you just can't predict this. You know, you just can't. Nobody would have thought this would have sold in 15 minutes but somebody was looking for it. Preferred sportswear, vintage Dale Earnhardt, the Black Knight short sleeve extra large shirt. Sold this today, April 23rd for 115, was priced at 130, paid $6.50 November 8th, even had fading and cracking on the graphics. And this one um, was sold on Mercari. Mercari now has no selling fees. So if you guys are interested in getting on the platform, you get all the profits. Bought this 14 karat gold ring and some other gold rings for only $10 each at a yard sale. I know I could have got way more money, but I only spent 50 for five rings. Sold this one for 300 within a few days of listing. How on earth do you get 14 karat gold for ten dollars, that is incredible, and it's got a maker's mark right there. Wow, that is nice. Yeah, I think we all know if you see gold for ten dollars, pick it up, pick it up. That's fantastic. I love this one vintage 80s, 90s Oshkosh Bagosh farm suspenders, red cows, adjustable toddler. These are stinking adorable. Uh, vintage. Look at them. What do you think? She said, pick these up at the Goodwill for $1.99 and sold for $40.50 after Mercari charged no seller fees. So she got the entire $40.50 because now there are no fees on Mercari. She said, I had a few low balls and it isn't, and it's my son's first birthday theme offers, but I stayed strong and held out. So what she's saying is people messaged her with lowball offer saying that it was their kid's birthday and they wanted it for that. Uh, buyer was member since 2024 with no ratings. They also didn't rate me, which I am always fine with. Store name is Davidson Resale. So um, yeah, really, really great Bolo. And she showed on here that she had no fees and the total amount that went into her account was $40.50. So if you're a seller on Mercari, 
you know, this is a perk. Um, there is mixed feelings about it. You guys can let me know how it's going for you down in the comments. I would love to hear um, if you guys are still, still making sales on Mercari with the new adjustment. I'm still selling things. I don't feel like it's had a big impact on my account, but Mercari is, um, you know, there's slow days and then there's good days on Mercari. I just like every other platform, uh, Poshmark, eBay, eBay is absolutely my highest selling platform other than whatnot, whatnot. Oh my goodness. But, uh, whatnot's a totally different, uh, type of platform. And I have been talking to you guys about whatnot. I love it over there. I'm doing and selling things auction style. It's live. I hope you guys will come join me. I, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop when you join whatnot with that referral link. And I would love for you guys to come hang out it, at one of my whatnot videos. Oh my goodness, I'm getting tired. At one of my whatnot shows, um, I do a lot of untangling. So I just dump jewelry and then we go through it together and I do grab and sell style. So come hang out with me. All right. And I know a lot of you are already over there on whatnot. So drop me a comment if you're already following. Genie decanter gem beam bottle with stopper green on purple vintage 1964. She said, I bought this gem beam genie. I dream of genie bottle at a central Wisconsin estate. For $2, sold for full asking price of $74.99 plus shipping after one week of listing. This bottle is the second one I have sold and both have the same issue. They look dark green in most light and all camera lenses, but with naked eye and in sunlight, it shows up purple. Weird, but true. Wow. Huh. That's interesting. Huh. I don't see purple. Do you see purple? I see green. Huh. Okay. So the next one I could not get to pull up. Um, it is a Care Bears Pink Power Limited Edition Breast Cancer Awareness Bear. For some reason, when I pulled up the listing, it only pulled up the details. So you guys will have to Google this one. Uh, it says, Rare Pink Power Care Bear 25th Anniversary. Bought at the Goodwill for a dollar. Sold for full asking price within five days. eBay store Kennedy Hippie Dippy Deals. Ooh, what a fun name. Hippie Dippy Deals. This one is a Double D Ranch Women's Western Cowgirl shirt, long sleeve size, medium. And this one was sold by Piece of Scrap. Paid $3.75 at a thrift store. Sold for $82 plus shipping on Poshmark within a week. And she is Piece of Scrap on YouTube and Poshmark. So check her out. She does do a lot of clothing. You don't get that on my channel. So check out her what solds. I think some of them will surprise you. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. I bought this Y2K Christian Dior lip gloss ring at an estate sale for $3 and it sold a couple weeks later for $170 on Mercari. Store name on all platforms is AP Thrift Machine. Look at that. How interesting. Is it a mirror on the top? Wow. Huh. That is definitely a ring. <laughs> wow. What do you guys think? It looks like it's empty now. So um, I would say you would probably want to empty anything out that's used because you don't want to sell used makeup. All right. Mug Commonwealth Coat of Arms Kangaroo Emu Brown Bands. So I would say a lot of people pass by mugs because uh, they're kind of expensive to ship. And a lot of times... Uh, you just don't pick them up. But I will tell you, it's an item that you can usually pick up for 50 cents to a dollar and turn into 25 to 30 bucks, depending on the mug. Now, a lot of them are bread and butter, 10, $15. They're long tail. You really got to do your research, but there are mugs that sell for big money. Authentic Australian Parliament mug paid 50 cents at the Goodwill. International sale for $40 and 13 cents. So that's what the buyer was all in for. These mugs do not appear to be for sale. I don't know what that means. Uh, Edge City Traders on eBay. Check her out. And here's another one she sold. Now, this one is an embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany, Washington. So kind. I don't know if that would be like an advertising mug. But would you have picked this up or would you have walked right past it? Probably not something you would have saw and said, I need to buy that. I can sell it for $34. She paid $2 at the Goodwill. Sold auction. $34 plus shipping. Mug was made as an embassy gift giveaway, not available for purchase. Edge City Traders again. So mugs do sell. Vintage Mexican uh, Tanala, 
Tanala. I, I always forget how to say this. I have a really cool owl, I think, is this brand. And I love it. It sits outside on my porch. So she said, I went shopping at a Goodwill with a friend and she thought I was crazy when I got so excited to find this for $4. I told her I could tell it was a good find because it was weird Tanala and I have never seen one before. It sold in about two months for full asking price of $45.90 plus shipping. So four and 45. And this brand has a very distinct look to it. I think a lot of them are signed. I can't remember if my owl is or not. Look at this. Picker Money Flipper, eBay, and YouTube. Check them out. They are big money bolo finders with entertaining YouTube content. She said, I went to a car dealership moving sale and I bought these leather seat covers for $65. They sold for $809.95 plus shipping. Woo-wee. Now that is a bolo. Doc Martens from the 90s. Look at those. Wow. Uh, same person, Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube. Husband picked up boots at a yard sale for 30 and they sold for $227.47 plus shipping. So yeah, if you know it's a bolo, $30 is a good deal. Good deal. And they look to be in really nice condition. So check them out. Go share your May Bolo. I don't know what happened here on Facebook. So if you go into the Facebook group, it is pinned at the top and under the announcements and it'll say share your best May Bolo. I'm also inviting everybody to send me a 60 second video. Turn your camera this way and just include like your face holding up the item you sold. Like you can do it like right before you ship. Um, and then, uh, I'm trying to, I'm looking for something to give you. Okay, so we could say, this is my Bolo. I sold this for $50. Okay, of course, I didn't sell this for $50, but you get the point. This is for my whatnot show tomorrow. It's one of the items just sitting here in my tangle. Um, so you would say, hi, I'm Bolo Buddies, and this is my Bolo. I sold this bracelet for $50 on eBay. I picked it up at a garage sale for 25 cents. And I sold it on eBay. And I hope you guys will come follow me on eBay, whatnot, um, Facebook, everywhere. I am Bolo Buddies everywhere. <laughs> this is horrible. But you get, whoa, you get the idea. 60 second video sharing your Bolo. Now, if you don't have it in your hand, you can use a screenshot or you can just like video a little clip of your eBay listing. And you don't even have to be in the video. Um, it can just be your voice and you can, you know, do the picture of uh, your listing. So however you want to do it, it's just a fun way to get to know, get to know the community. And if you want to put your face out there, you can, if you don't, you don't have to, but Facebook and Instagram, I'm Bolo Buddies. You can message me it on messenger, keep it at about 60 seconds and landscape style guys. So I hope to see your Bolo video. You do not have to be a YouTuber to do this. Um, if you're on whatnot, this would be a great way to shout out your whatnot and get people out, um, get people to know your personality and maybe they'll come and check you out. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And remember, this is my Bolo is video format. That's totally different than just sharing a Bolo in the Facebook group where I feature it in a video like this. So if you want to see more of the This Is My Bolo videos, type in This Is My Bolo, Bolo Buddies on YouTube, and it'll pull up a bunch of videos. They are super fun to watch. You'll get to meet a lot of really neat people that have a lot of Bolo videos. Thanks for watching.